Hello, Mathlete! I am Teacher Anna, your Singapore Math Train Teacher, and I will be tagging you along to the Merlin Singapore Math Adventures. But before that, I would like to invite you to join our community by subscribing to our YouTube channel, liking our videos, and of course, do not forget to hit the notification bell so that you will be updated with our videos. So, are you ready to start? Come on, let's go! series on how to solve challenge problems involving comparison. Again, we use the Merlin Singapore Math approach in solving. Today, I'm going to discuss two additional problems for us to be able to master comparison. We finished four challenge problems in our two-part video series. So let us now proceed to challenge problem number five. Sarah and Andrea have 12 hair clips. So we have their colorful hair clips for Sarah and Andrea. Sarah and Zoe have 9 hair clips. So we now have Sarah together with her other friend, Zoe. If Sarah has 5 hair clips, how many hair clips does Zoe have? So here is Zoe, and that is Sarah, who happens to have how many hair clips again? Mm -hmm. You are listening to Teacher Anna. That's correct. We have five hair clips for Sarah. Now, we need to know how many hair clips does Zoe have. So for our solution, we know that Sarah has five hair clips. When we add Sarah and Zoe's hair clips, we have nine. Therefore, five out of these nine hair clips belong to Sarah. And the remaining will now belong to whom again? Correct. It will belong to Zoe. Now, let's solve. So we have nine hair clips for Zara and Zoe. For us to know the number of hair clips for Zoe, we are going to subtract. What are we going to subtract? Hmm, of course, we are going to subtract the number of hair clips owned by Sarah. So 9 minus 5 will give us? Correct, it will give us 4. Therefore, Zoe has 4 hair clips clips. So in this challenge problem, we compared the hair clips of Zara and Zoe. And using our block method, it is very easy for us to compare. Thus, the operation to be used will be identified. Okay, so it's getting easier and easier. I know you're smiling there. Are you ready to proceed to challenge problem number six? Okay. So challenge problem number six. Manuel and Rocco, mm, happy boys, they have 14 toy cars. So if we put the toy cars of Manuel and Rocco together, they have a total of 14. And then, Rocco, together with his other friend, John, they have 12 toy cars. So, Rocco's toys plus John's toys, we are going to have 12 toy cars. So, the problem is, if Rocco has 7 toy cars, okay, how many toy 
toy cars do they have all together? Take note, there are three friends. We have Rocco, we have John, and we have Manuel. If we put all their toys together, how many do you think do we have? Hmm. Seems like challenging, but with our Merlin Singapore math approach, we will find out later how easy it is to solve for this. Moving on with our solution to challenge problem number six. We know that Manuel and Rocco all together have 14 toy cars. We also know that Rocco has seven toy cars. Having said that, we know that Rocco's number of toys is seven out of the total 14 toy cars. While his friend Manuel owns the remaining of the 14 toy cars when we remove seven. With that clue, we now know that we are going to use which operation? Oh, you are getting better at it. Correct, subtraction. So we get 14, their total number of toy cars. We subtract the number of toy cars owned by Rocco, which is 7. The difference will be the number of toy cars owned by Manuel. Now, let's compute. 14 minus 7 will give you... Correct! You will now have 7 toy cars for Manuel. Now, this is step two of our solution. We know that Rocco and John have 12 toy cars all together. Still, Rocco has seven toy cars. And we are going to use the same approach, the same strategy that we used in step number one. Because we know that Rocco has seven out of the total 12 toy cars that they have while his friend john has the remaining of the 12 toy cars and again we are going to use subtraction so we have 12 minus the number of cars owned by rocco which is mm -hmm, you are attentive correct seven so if we subtract seven from 12 the difference will be the number of toy cars owned by john and 12 minus 7 is equal to 5. now we know that john has five toy cars and for step three for our final answer to the question how many toy cars do they have all together? We now know that Rocco has seven toy cars. His friend Manuel has seven cars also. And his other friend John has five. Our clue is the word all together. Therefore, we are going to subtract. Oh, you are right. We're not going to subtract, but we are going to add. Adding their number of toy cars will give us our final answer. 7 plus 7 plus 5. The sum is... Mm -hmm. Okay, that was quick. We get 19. Therefore, the three boys, Rocco, Manuel, and John, have a total of 19 toy cars. So as you can see, using the Merlin Singapore math approach, particularly the block method made it easy for us to solve for our challenge problems. Now I'm very sure that with these videos, you will be able to ace Singapore math and be a math whiz. Now, for more videos,
close of our Merlin Singapore math approaches and adventures, I am inviting you to like this video. You may want to check all the other videos in this YouTube channel. So please subscribe and I have more videos for you in the coming days. So kindly subscribe to the YouTube channel of MSA Institute. And of course, I also would like to invite you to enroll in our Merlin Math Enrichment Programs that is good for preschool to grade school levels. All you have to do is visit our website at msainstitute.com. And also, in your vacant time at home, you might want to check also our Merlin Math books. So we have a series of Singapore Math books that will help you. And you will be able to enjoy the Singapore Math approach. And it is so easy, we could deliver it directly to your home. All you have to do is check out our books at onlinestore.msainstitute.com So again, I'm so happy to see all of you and a lot of surprise challenge problems will come your way. So I'll see you around. Thank you for watching.